another song with an app called Cortica as as the background generator, and just want to show people yep. this. It's another cor kind of chord generator. Cool generator. And it's sort of based on a Nashville numbering system. Uh, you have you know your root, and if you hit your root and um, interval numbers four five. I guess you can set what key the root is. Yeah, yeah, you can set the start. The, you can set, oh. Yeah, you can say, yeah, what, what the what the. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. cool. So and saying. then, so how do you how do you generate a chord like you were doing? So basically, you got your your root notes here, and then your chords on the right hand side. So it's split in it's split in half. Um, so that's your C. So that's your that's your chord and your root. Oh, okay. So then you can kind of do suspended chords. Um, Endless and yeah, like you said, you could change the root and change. I mean, it's pretty malleable, and you can change the sounds as well. Um, I think they got, they still got some way to go on some of their sounds, but it's a fun, it's a cool writing tool actually. This on the road. I mean, has this has this caused you to to write in a way that you might not have written if you were using a black and white keyboard? Absolutely, and it's the same with. I find a lot of these music apps. It's the same with like. You know, if you pick up a guitar, you know, you may already have ten guitars, and you might just pick up that one guitar that inspires, you know, the song that kind of changes your life. It's the same with music apps. Sometimes you just open one, and it has a sound or a way. You know, the way you're playing it is so different to the way you're playing a piano that I think your brain is working in a different way as well. So different ideas might come musically. Or you, you, the chances are you're going to do something on here like that, which should never be a chord, but that might inspire something. You know, or. So I think that's what's cool about them, is that it's cool. just like a, a new kind of instrument. Well, this is a song called Brooklyn. It was written on a real piano, um, but uh, it's fun kind of playing it on this. It's Like I said, it's fun writing on this. We'll, uh, I've never actually played the whole song on this, but we'll give it a go. It's Brooklyn. It's from my debut album, which is called Gary Go, which is my name as well. And uh, let's try it. Let's see what happens. I look in my crystal ball and see nothing I quietly wish I had it all, all or at least something and while the short way says chaos surrounds us I don't hear a thing it's all so quiet If I had a fresh start, I'd probably fail. So I drink my coffee, whoa, and open the mail. And I hope the cruel words in your letter are baptized by my tears. I would try. Especially for Keyboard Magazine.